there's the uh, top surface of the plaster mold all cleaned up. That went really well. It's my first experiment actually cutting plaster on the old uh, woodpile CNC mill. Now, lots of people in the comments have suggested, you know, why do you go to the trouble of, of, of cutting foam molds, then molding the plaster in the foam, and then molding the glass on the plaster? Why don't you just cut the plaster directly? Well, I didn't know if it would work. Cutting, uh, cutting foam's easy. And uh, it doesn't dull my bits. Uh, I'm sure I dulled my bit pretty good, but uh, it, this, this was just an experiment to see how well it works. If, if cutting the plaster works well, I may try that in the future. Maybe I'll just cast some big discs of plaster and try cutting out you know, a negative of what I want in the final glass um, plate in the in the plaster we'll see we'll see how well it works and this turned out pretty good I ran my uh, dishing program on it so this thing has now has quite the uh, convex curve to it or concave curve to it I'm sorry it's I, I did it in an f4 pretty conservative so that uh, if uh, if and when I cast glass on this, the the finished uh, mirror will have basically a constant thickness of glass over the hexagons. It won't vary, so that's it's another weight saving measure. You know, my my original, you know, Mark One, Mark Two design hex back mirrors, the all the hexagons were the same height, and you wound up with. Uh, you know, less glass in the center and more at the edge after you grind them down and make a mirror out of them. Well, that's a lot of excess glass out at the edge adding weight, so now it's it's dished out to match the F ratio that I'm expecting to put in it. So it should be a lot lighter that way. Well, not a lot, a little bit lighter. And the constant thickness of glass should help with uh, thermal effects and expansion and contraction. It's going to behave a little better, I believe, than if it was thicker at the edges and thinner in the middle. should cool more uniformly. So that went pretty good. Needs a little sanding. It's got a little bit of a stair steppiness to it from uh, the uh, the Z travel as it came up. But that this, this plaster is really soft and sands easy, so I'll sand that down. And uh, so my plan for this this piece, I need to uh, I need to sand it a little bit clean it up, ease the edges a little bit, give them a little bit of roundness to them. And uh, rather than throw this in the kiln and melt glass over it, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build a dam around it and uh, fill it with uh, silicone rubber, molding rubber, and make a, uh, a mold of this and then use that silicone mold to make, uh, as a master mold, to make more working plaster molds. That way, if I, if I want to make multiple 14-inch uh, mirrors, like this one, this is 14 inches, by the way, I don't know if I, me I mentioned that. If I want to make multiple 14-inch mirrors, I don't have to make, you know, multiple foam molds and, and cast uh, cast the uh, the plaster multiple times. I'll just, just get the, the master mold off the shelf and, and use it to make some more working molds. So we'll see how that goes. I did that with my 12 and a half inch design and it worked really well. So I'll do that with uh, this, uh, this Mark V 14 inch design. And uh, we'll see how it works. Should save some time and effort. And I'll tell you what, the uh, UPS system I have the old uh, the mill here hooked up to paid for itself today. We had a hellacious thunderstorm during the, during the cut and the lights flickered a couple of times and it never missed a beat it just kept going so that UPS system is is a beautiful thing I've, I've had problems with that before where the lights would flicker in the middle of a cut and ruin the cut or have trouble getting back to where I was and starting over so this this worked great today so that was a wonderful thing so anyway um, I'll show you more of this uh, in the future I'll show you the finished product after I've done cleaning it up sanding it making it beautiful, and then uh, we'll, we'll try the whole silicone rubber molding thing and see how it goes. Or later. Bye.